what's up everyone john here and today is officially the last day for the bo play jam sessions um, there are just a few minor things that i want to go over that i missed in yesterday's jam session um, and it's going to be very quick uh, but just to stay consistent with the build um, i just want to go over these few things and to make sure it ends on a, a good note here um, so they're very minor the few things we're going to cover um, is just changing the color of the logo and we're also going to remove the slideshow interactions on tablet and mobile. So I'll go ahead and start the five minutes. And yeah, so this might not even be five minutes. Uh, so one thing I noticed here is that the color of the logo in Figma is, uh, this logo is a different color that I, than I had initially set. So I'll just go in here and just change it to that color right in there. And it's a very minor detail, uh, but I just want to stay kind of true and consistent uh, to Jiraj Masar's design. Um, so cool, so that's all set. Um, all the other text I've checked and it looks good. Um, this is black here, I've set that to black. Um, this text here is black. This has an alpha of 80%, um, so it is black with, with an alpha there, um, and everything else looks good. Uh, the next thing I noticed is that on tablet, if we scroll down and if we go to preview, the first slide here, or this first panel um, is in the hover state and the rest are not. Uh, so because this isn't a slideshow here, I actually want to remove the interaction uh, from all of these um, slides here or uh, yeah, or uh, right panels. Um, so I'll go ahead into the right panel or actually, yeah, the slide here. Uh, yeah, because these elements are being triggered by the slide. Um, so I'll go ahead into slide one, into yeah, into this slider, which is not visible. Go into slide one, uh, then go into interactions, and then click on each one. And just uncheck tablet, phone, landscape, and phone portrait. Um, so I'll do that for each one to make sure that it's only triggered on desktop. All right. And it's just a nice little tip. So when you're working with interactions, if you don't want certain interactions applied at specific um, breakpoints, you can just uncheck them here within the trigger settings. Um, so now if I preview, all good, we can see it's not in the triggered state. Nice, so that's all I wanted to cover. Um, I know it's kind of, maybe didn't need to make a whole video on it, but I just want to stay kind of true and consistent to this design here. So just little inconsistencies I wanted to fix. Um, we did kind of color all this text correctly here. Um, these icons are black, so they're black in the design as well within the site. Um, cool, so I'll go ahead and publish and this is officially the last video for these jam sessions. I am working on the next set of videos that I'll be creating. Uh, for those, I want to create more of, a, of an entire site. Um, so like full page website with, you know, a CMS and um, yeah, just more of like a full page site with a container and not have it, not have it go the full width of, of, the, um, of the screen. Um, so nice, I'm, I'm happy with this build. Um, I've gotten a lot of great feedback, so thanks everyone. And yeah, this is officially the last uh, uh, build for this. So we can check it on tablet uh, within the Google um, inspector and looks great. And I can scroll down, nice. So if this was a real site, like if I was building this for like a real client, um, I would make these link blocks so that they link out to different pages. And I'd obviously make the product stand out a bit more where the user could could actually purchase the product um, or go to the, you know, the BO Play here and have a specific product page um, for the product. All right, cool. So yeah, thanks everyone for watching. I know it was kind of like a short video um, for for just those few things, but, but yeah, just to keep it consistent, um, I wanted to kind of go over that. Cool, so looks good. I really like the slider. We can check the responsiveness of it, and boom, nice. It's pretty satisfying when things get responsive. It's like, uh, boom, <laughs> so nice. All right, thanks everyone. Uh, definitely be on the lookout for the next set of videos. Uh, we will have a lot of fun in the next build. Uh, thanks everyone who's watched all the jam sessions, and yeah, it can it can be um, all the videos are in a playlist, so you can just watch them one after another. All right, cool. So that's it for the jam sessions. Um, yeah, you could definitely check out web dev for you. Um, there's templates, there's free interactions, tutorials on the YouTube channel. 
um, yeah, I have quite a few templates here. Um, so yeah, if you want to get started quickly with Webflow, you can check out the Web Dev for You shop, and I have quite a few templates here uh, to help get started quickly in Webflow. Uh, there is a discount code in the description area below, uh, WFY-YouTube, where you can get 20% off any of the templates here. All right, awesome. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next jam session.